Hey community members, today I wanted to share with you four tips that I have for um, choosing rain gear for hiking. So primarily focusing on a rain chill just for simplicity purposes. Um, so tip number one, uh, know how to identify the different kinds of fabrics available in order to choose the correct fabric for you. So pretty much know that there are um, waterproof breathable fabrics, water resistant fabrics, as well as non-breathable waterproof fabrics, which should only be used in emergency situations because they don't really serve um, much more purpose than that. So tip number two, um, you want to decide the kind of shell you're looking for. So whether it's a hard shell, which means there's no insulation whatsoever and the shell is simply meant to provide weather resistance. Um, a soft shell, which is typically an insulating layer combined with a water resistant but not waterproof shell. Um, or an insulated shell, which combines insulation with a completely waterproof breathable membrane. So kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, likely more ideal for um, hiking in cold, rainy conditions. Uh, tip number three, um, let's really get down to uh, the nitty gritty behind what DWR means. So you'll definitely see that a lot when um, choosing rain gear. Um, DWR stands for durable water repellent. So it's actually a finish or a coating that's added um, after production to most waterproof uh, breathable rainwear shells. Um, so the purpose of the coating is to keep rain off the jacket's fabric surface, which despite how waterproof they make the fabric, in the end is still a sewn together fabric and will eventually soak through. Um, which leads into my final tip for you. Um, be aware that whatever rainwear uh, you choose to go with, know that you can reapply DWR to your jacket um, as many times as needed throughout its lifespan. Um, as soon as it starts to lose its efficacy, so as soon as it seems like uh, your jacket, you know, water is starting to um, soak through, for example. So quickly, to recap, uh, four tips for um, choosing rainwear. First of all, um, be aware of the different kinds of fabrics, including uh, waterproof breathable fabric, water resistant fabrics, as well as non breathable waterproof fabrics, which should be reserved for more emergency situations. Um, decide what kind of shell you're looking for. So your options are a hard shell, which is pretty much solely meant to uh, keep the weather out, so more ideal for warmer climates. Um, a soft shell, which is often insulated and provides a level of water resistance, but isn't um, completely waterproof, or um, an insulated waterproof shell. So the best of both worlds, um, a, a layer of insulation combined with a waterproof breathable membrane. Um, so next tip, uh, know what DWR means, which is a durable water repellent, and be aware that it's a coating applied to the outside of your jacket's fabric, not actually a part of the fabric itself. And um, finally, know that you can reapply DWR to your jacket uh, many times throughout its lifespan um, if it starts to lose its efficacy. So. Those are four tips I have for you for choosing rainwear, and hopefully you found those useful um, and don't have to do a whole lot of uh, rainy hiking, but if you do, um, at least you have the gear that you need. So thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to hiking and backpacking, I just wanted to recommend that you check out our Adventure Academy Summit, where you'll find everything you need to know to learn how to become a safe and confident hiker. In Summit, we have tons of video courses, eBooks, and downloadable cheat sheets. We also do weekly live webinars where you can get any questions that you might have on a variety of subjects answered in real time. Summit also comes with a really convenient mobile app which includes sort of a mini Facebook for all of its members uh, built into the platform. So you can connect with other adventure junkies in your area um, at your convenience. It's really cool. Um, if you want to give it a chance, um, check it out and go to the adventurejunkies.com forward slash academy or click the link in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in Summit.